I don't want you to go crazy. I just want you to make a street with like, you know, some ramen shits, I guess. Yeah, just just get your prop out. Get your prop out and just start looking at what kind of models you can use. This Maybe you probably... should draw what you're gonna draw do first. Okay. In MS Paint. That's usually a good first step <clears> for <throat> for anything. Ah, uh, in one direction, block street. Chain link fence, block street, other direction. Okay. And you have the ramen shop. Okay. Okay, that works. In this oh, alleyway right, right there, you know, so that way you have uh, building. That way you have building blocking both sides here. That's perfect. It's perfect. Because there are bench perfect. there's stools, there's a cash register prop, there's kitchen props. I'm 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 aware. I'm there's aware. all all of these models are in Half Life 2. This is like a perfect It's gonna look an Eastern European ramen shop. Just make a wall, both side. That's a good idea. Yeah, you have that prop static there already, but most of the props that um, that you're gonna work with in this situation, I know in Half-Life 2 they're physics props, so they're not gonna work. That's fine. <laughs> you're not gonna render. Um, That's the problem you that always the, have. I know that the, the seat does, the, the like, stool. Yeah, so what you, you wanna do is hit that yeah in the the tabs on the other side when you're in the browse where it says info oh, yeah. you don't I have to um more. so you don't you don't have to lower your grid all the way down like that if you're just trying to place the fucking the shit just hold down alt while you drag and it will disable snapping oh really see i didn't know that yeah so that way you can position it really finely off grid you don't have to worry about it it's a, it's a model it doesn't have to be on grid at all Oh, shit. Nothing uh, has to be on grid, actually, but you know, it's a recommendation. Well, these, are, these are these are in the floor, so yeah. Yeah, that's looking good. Fuck. That's looking good. Looking kinda. Looking kinda good. So they're always like they're always like they put the ball up on the thing. Ah. Uh, but you can always do prop dynamic override, which will force it to be a dynamic prop instead if you don't want to make it a physics prop. Yeah? Yeah. What the fuck do I do now? Well, I guess uh, put your fucking... Like... Done. <laughs> it's not done. <laughs> He's not done yet at all, man. Make sure you save it. How about you better save it? <laughs> you You're basically, basically fucking done. You don't want to like finish the map and then have hammer crash. <laughs> Just everything's gone. It's like for the employee to go through this would be a flip up door. Yeah. That's the concept. You could make. You could do that. You could make it flip up. Make it. Yeah. Uh... When you hit E on it, you could make it flip up. There's no trash bins in Japan. Don't you know, idiot? This is this Everybody is the... takes their trash home to throw it away. Yeah, this, this is the bad part of town. <laughs> Where they have trash bins? Wouldn't they just have garbage on the streets like they actually have? And I suppose that's true. Normal Japan, they just have like garbage on the sides and the little divots like that. It's not Gomi yeah. Day. Hasn't been Gomi, Gomi day, day for a while here. <laughs> you haven't had a Gomi day in a fortnight. Put a door next to it. Yeah, I could. I'm, yeah, I'm just visualizing this on. like way sick, like super cool. Length 55. 55. Ooh, should be one more, one bigger to the left. Yeah. You fit, no, the other way, 56. There you go. Then you make that, you make that wall. I, I think it's still intersecting if it's 56. It, it isn't, but... It isn't? Well, is it intersecting on the other side too much? Probably. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, there you go. That'll, that'll do.
you can also do the same the holding down alt while you're rotating and it will it will uh you know while you rotate yeah it'll it won't it disable snapping when you hold alt You could do like a upper elevated level behind that fence or something. I don't want the trash poking out of there. It's also floating. Yeah, well. Not touching the ground. That. Like an elevated, like, because your idea is you're going to have the alley continue out like that way, right? I wanted to just have it sort of. I guess you're right. I could do that. Well, instead of having it continue out like that have another like have it go up a little bit like it's the end of yeah, that like, yeah like this is, like goes up yeah yeah why have the fence here you know that brush is fucked i think yeah click on that just, click on that brush fucked. what's the uh what's the size in this direction can you click on it what is that what is that size 256 uh, uh, 257.0 okay, uh, well look at the uh look Look, zoom in over here when you click on that brush. It, like, zoom in real close to, like, right there where I'm clicking. You see that? You see that? Mm -hmm. It's off. Be you know why? Because when you built that brush, the, you had I know, it was that based off of selected. The, yes, and so these have... based off of the fence, yeah. Yeah, so they're actually a little bit bigger than what their real sizes are because, you know, how yep. it works. So, yeah, you want to be careful. And it's also going to be off-grid on the other side, too, by the way, but by half right, minute. well just fuck that yes yeah, so you want to do it with that brush see stuff like that it's better when you do have snapping enabled because it'll snap it since the wall is on grid it'll snap it perfectly to the the wall without like going in I think usually at least that there should be it should be made to do that yeah see Looks like it. it yeah, yeah, see how it's like perfect. Yeah, it's designed to it's be perfect. I gotta make shit for this fucking Ferris wheel of a contraption. Yeah, what do you wanna? How do you want that to go? I'm just have like a. What I'm gonna do? You just have stairs is, going up or down. Well, that's what I was sort of thinking of is have some sort of winding. Maybe after some stairs, have like a have it like curve off and like break site. Yeah, that could work. Get these but, uh, stair. Should I just should I just make some stair here? Yeah, and do, do some stair. stair business? Yeah, do some stair. Get it, get it going. I will do a little stair. Sixteen eight, usually decent. Little Classic. little shallow. Do sixteen twelve. Fuck sixteen eight. That's deep. that's shit. Do sixteen twelve. Yeah, that is pretty shallow. I remember, you never ever even since there's down stairs that are going down, you never be able to see them. So yeah. Yeah. You correct that and move like this. There you go. Yeah. You go. Yeah. Lower, right? No, but don't touch those. Make just make a new brush. Make a new one. It. Yeah, because otherwise it'll break like the edge here, right? Yeah, and also take this one. Take this brush that's right here, that first step basically, and lower yeah. that down. Lower the bottom of that down to the top of your this thing. So like that line, yeah. So that way it's perfectly lined up with the, the top of that, yeah. You're gonna select that and then you build out from the sides here, like a new brush all oh, the way. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, have it, so have the edge touching that bit. You don't actually want it to be. Oh, yeah, here you mean? Yeah. So really, you should just take this bottom one and extend it to to that point. Really? Yes. But like this point right here, instead of all the way. Yeah. And if is this was a cause... if this was a real level, what you would do is you'd select all your stairs. Funk detail that shit. Yeah, and just hit apply. Close. And then you uh, control X. No, not control X. Shift X from that point, not, yeah, your vertices off right there. Yeah, yeah, oh, uh, yeah. there you go, one yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's what you'd wanna do. You wanna do one of those. Yeah, you now you got some nice green stairs. Yeah, 
Because you don't need all that. You didn't even make the fucking ramen shop. <laughs> yeah, your ramen, Jesus you're still working Christ. on the stairs. Still working on Listen, we gotta finish, finish these. Let's finish the stairs, okay? You wanna make yeah, it yeah. curve off? Yeah, I'm just gonna do a little like sort of 45 degree. Why don't you do an arch? Use the let's let's use the arch tool. Use the arch tool. Okay, so first wanna... first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna find what's the size of that? How big is this? Select it so I can see the measurements. 56. Okay. 56. So we gotta figure out what kind of radius you want. So. Times two, do 224 right. by 224. Yeah. Fuck. Oh, shit, I was sliding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, uh, many okay. such cases. <laughs> and now you're going to set that to 56. And you're going to set the number of sides to 24. And hit preview. Yeah. 16. So what you do is you take, you take, measure this. Like, draw a cube from there well, to there, and now double it. Now you just double it uh, out. So 56 becomes 112. 112 by 112. And then you make you make an arch. Yeah, you, you can just do that. Yeah, yeah. So do 256 for your, for your total square. 256 by 256. I'd say have have the ceiling slope down and then have those up a little bit more. Like make those taller and then just have it slope down from in here. Yeah, there you go. Okay, the stairway finished. Better save it. Better save it. <laughs> Better save it. There you go. That's one. One hole in the map finished. One hole. Remember, we could set up other cars that drive by dynamically. Yeah. That would yeah. be fucking insane. You might want to fly up towards that. Yeah, if yeah, you're gonna be able to see. The, uh, make, what? It, make it bigger on the one direction. Oh yeah, the angle. shorter the one way. Yeah, uh, you'll be able to see. So normally you'd have a door frame around the door using the same texture as the door, uh, like because there are door frame textures that go along with the door texture, and it's a real pain in the ass to align them and set them up. I see. But it makes it makes the doors look a zillion billion times better. Well, let's just see what we're working. Yeah. Make that make that a fucking prop door instead of prop static. Why? Because then it will have the door handle on it, and uh, you just hit accept, and you set it to in the flags. Go in the flags tab, set it to starts locked, so you can't open it. Mm. Yeah, and then look at the skins. Mm. Find a skin that you like. So that's not an appropriate door skin. Gonna design your kitchen. I would get all your props and set up, like not set up, yeah. but just like get them there in the room, so you kind of know what you're gonna work with. You know, True. so then you can arrange. Like your, yeah, you can arrange everything afterward. Yeah, and then also you can make duplicates if you want. Let's make this into a, uh, a functional. Oh, what, this thing? Yeah, let's make that, yeah. I don't know if you can even put through it, though. Like... Uh, how, how wide is that? 32? If it's oh, 32, it's... you should be able to. Yeah, that's fine. You can pass it's through 32. That. Yeah, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go and cut that up. Yep. You're gonna cut it up. Now you Got select it. That. Select that little thing. 
and you hit that you hit that shift T on that thing or control T or whatever yeah control T and then make it a funk door rotating you're gonna hit apply first now here's where the fun begins okay so you're gonna want to fucking move this out of the way a little bit and you're gonna want to move this, out of the way? you're gonna want to drag this little dot to where the hinge point is gonna be so you drag that to like there or maybe like one unit in more too to make it a little bit like kind of in there okay perfect now you're gonna want to get the properties back up but also does it uh no it's also make it hinge around here yeah you could you could literally so make that, it hinge so at that, that point like... uh you're gonna go to flags and you're gonna want to go and do uh one way because you only want it to go one way and uh, who knows which way that'll be and then x and y i don't know which one you don't want them both you only want one of them but uh so let me think about this so if this is we're looking we're looking at x that's why you want it to be y y axis i think y axis yes i believe yes. so Maybe have a gap. It doesn't really make sense for it to be perfectly flush. Have it like a one unit Are gap sure? between that. Yeah, it'll look better. I guess it also suggests that it's movable a little better. Yeah. Compile just the BSP and see if it is actually sealed. Just uh, turn everything off except I'll BSP. See. And hit go. And see if it... You're going to have some issues with the models. You're going to be missing all your models. Static for the trash and stir. You just yeah. want to scroll up. In fact, you might just want to hit copy to clipboard and then paste it into Notepad to make it easier for you to deal with. You shouldn't have any problem. Everything, all the model shit's good. So yeah, all the model just... shit's good. So now, yeah. you got to get figure out what kind of lighting props you want. You're not done with prop placement yet. You need lights not inside the kitchen on the ceiling to get the inside lights and maybe something on the outside too, like a sign. You are going to want to fix the vertices on this because you'll have Z fighting on the parts that are overlapping and it'll look like shit. Right. I'm thinking, thinking it's time for textures. You have oh it's it's because you had texture lock scaling on this entire time so you fucked oh, up oh no you, you fucked up the the texture for everything and anyway I... you're just gonna manually fix it you're just gonna manually fix it you're gonna select the texture you select that you're just gonna type 0.25 in for everything you can always fix it and also now the the two oh, intersecting faces perfect. the two intersecting faces are gonna be fucked now but uh why would they be fucked they fly inside of the brush see how now there's oh, a texture what? on the why inside does it do I, I don't know why it does that but you just gotta no draw it just grab a no draw okay. with your texture application tool and uh, yeah you just want to avoid that kind of thing it's it's sloppy it doesn't really matter actually it's not gonna like affect your map but it, like if it was a more complicated map it could No, that's that's perfectly fine. Just having it stop there because that's part of the external wall. Yeah. 
And then just do the same one over here if you want. Make sure you're alt right clicking to fix the texture space. Pretty much always want to alt right click from like each adjacent texture because that like makes yeah. it a line. If you unselect this and you look really close, you're gonna see the like a pixel of the fucking bottom, even though it is lined up. Yeah, you see that? You see that? And yeah, you're gonna yeah. be able to see that in game. So that's one of the pains in the ass working. You actually want to chop it below the top of where the texture cuts off, so you don't have that kind of thing. But then it like you get into this like fucking annoying loop, basically, you know. Uh, you want to you want to click, you want to click, alt click. That's what I did. No, no, alt click on the one, first one, and then click on then click on the first one, and then alt click on this one, and then click on that one, oh, and, then alt, and then keep doing that. Yeah, that's how you do it properly. I see, because it's gonna have slight. It, it does it. Yeah, it's alt clicking is applying it relative to the selected face. Yeah. So if you do it just to this, it'll fuck up as you go farther right there wait what's going on here what's why is that like that why can i see that no draw what's going on there yeah you you have something I, fucked I up you work at a too small of a grid you need to stop working at such a small grid size actually i can do whatever i want you need to you need to not don't adjust that adjust the slope adjust the slope not that that right there you need to i usually that. try to make sure everything's on like a like an even a nice even number yeah. okay i was i probably adjusted the door frame to fit this prop and that's why it's like yeah that. yeah anyway but yeah anyway it's fine now it's your psycho tip okay so uh change this texture to something that's like that has like lines that you can see i mean there is there's lines but like oh, so it follows like yeah yeah i just want to show you how you would do that alt click to the flat now alt click from, yeah. from that to the side. Well, stop moving around. Not that one. This Sorry. this one. <laughs> Applying it to that one. Okay, now align this. Take the that nicely aligned one yeah. and start apply it around the curve. As you would normally. Okay. And now you go to each of those each of these and apply it to the one above it on the ceiling. You see? Yeah, I see. See how it's like perfectly lined up around yeah, the curve? I understand, I understand the uh, the mechanism here. Yeah, and then you would just fix, you'd fix that, oh. that you can't do that. So you would have to, you got, it's- You have to do a little trickery. Yeah, you'd have to do a little manual adjustment. Yeah, you could, but now hey. you're, gonna have, you're gonna have repeating texture, so you're gonna want to select like every other one and then align it like left or right to be give it some variation when you do that. Yeah, so just go like select a bunch of random ones. You can do more than one at once. You know? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's how you do the fucking stairs. Good. Now you won't have any fucking texture repeat nastiness and you map will look good. When they do their maps, it look like dog shit because you can just see the fucking texture repeating straight down the stairway. Yeah. You should change your ceiling to something else. See if it's gonna be... Yeah. Yeah. Different heights. I yeah, make it... More yeah, cut it and make it skybox. Realistic. Or you could also cut it cut it and then cut it again and then have like a darker like lip around the very top past these uh the trim bits there now set that to fall there you go now that's a building that's finished oh it's a fuck building yeah see how much nicer that looks do something on the other side too because it looks ugly as fuck that fucking green wall I'd say split it, split it first, hit O on your keyboard. 
So now you can see your measurements of what wow. you're dealing with. Yeah, so zoom in over here. So I'd say do it up to like, um, do it up to like 112 because it's a little bit lower than 128, which is where the texture is going to repeat. You can just drag, you don't, stop redoing it. Just drag what? the fucking vertices. Oh, okay. And you can, you just drag them both to where you want them to be. So like drag it down one unit. Yeah. And shift T. But that's gonna yeah, that's gonna can... set all of the faces to that texture, yeah. the ones inside, so it's not something yeah, you really want to do. I but... know it's not practice. But yeah, but in this situation exactly, it's but... just like, you know, it's whatever. Remember that can rotate, so you need to do the inside faces too. Good Just catch. For both sides, because it, it's gonna be. What do you towards, mean inside Towards the cash face? register, that's that face is gonna be visible. Oh yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. We're in Wood City now, boys. Let's get the underneath of the outside bit. Yeah. Okay. Ah. Didn't. Yeah, didn't I? That's ugly. Pick up a different texture for. The underneath of that pick like a dark huh? oh sorry what do like you mean that pick like that face yeah pick like a dark something like some kind of non not the same brick yeah concrete would be better pick like dark one or or light one or whatever you want to do yeah that looks better for just underneath that brick wall you know you wouldn't just yeah, have the same bricks now just pick your fucking ceiling Set by yeah. Hey, it worked. It was the the uh, y axis. A little bit slow. Can change that. Yeah, you can hey. change the speed and all that shit. Yeah, and see when you hit E on it, oh it'll, it'll jiggle the door and st oh instead of God, having it just be like a fucking, fucking cool. Yeah. So now a little car. Now let's add car. add lighting and shits. Oh my God. You need to change it to a player's start because it's a lot better whenever you, if you accidentally you click on your map somewhere. Lose track of one if, or well, if you just like click on your map when you have the entity tool, you're going to see the fucking, the character there. You're going to see him there. Yeah, but you're, gonna you're, you're not going to see this fucking square yeah. just sitting there. So we'll change that in a minute, but do the, uh, the light environment. Look now you yeah, just do the go. fucking thing. Yeah, just now you just the yeah. Now you just bit. tune it. Now you just tune it to be wider. Yeah. There we go. There. Yeah. Look how much nicer yeah. that looks. Does look nice. I've never used it before. Yeah. Oh, that looks so cool. Yeah, that so looks you, so good. You don't even need the sprites with those. Yeah. I've never. I've been over yeah. here using sprites like a fuck. <laughs> I mean, they do create an odd line here because of the because it's maybe you should move to the, the, yeah, maybe you yeah, should move, move those out models little out little. yeah because it's it's like inset. Oh, it's much warmer. It's much more inviting. Yeah, and see, look, now you got those nice. Still, set that yeah. to two now, it's still kind of yeah, ugly. Yeah, two is still looking. Hey, look at, yeah, that's perfect. Open up console, type bind F9 retry. And that should, when you press F9, it should reload the map. Yeah, there you go. But yeah, All right. now you do the inside lighting. Inside lighting. Do you use spots for everything or what? Um, it depends. Are you one of those spots, people? No, it, it depends, but in this situation, you're gonna be using mostly spots. Uh, this one's gonna be blue, it's like a fluorescent, so it's gonna be like a nasty blue color. Or like green, even. Yeah, make it green. OK, 
Yeah, that looks pretty good. There's no lighting up here, though. Kinda looks disgusting. Huh? Like, this area is Yeah, dark. you're right. Things. These customers need to... Maybe up, like, another fluorescent like, thing, like, up behind like a, the... Put, like, a lamp or something, maybe. Or, like, some kind of... Like, colored light on the wall. Oh, wow. Holy shit. Fucking raining. Bro, it's like Blade Runner, bro. It's like... You were oh. at the rainy ramen you shop. You Blade Runner. Oh. He say you Blade Runner. Oh. Just do lights white, I guess. I'm hoping that that doesn't um, generate lights on them. I don't know if it well, does. Well, there's only one way to find out. Yeah, I guess so. Anyway, you're going to want to... Uh, control or just to go to the properties of that instead of a funk detail you're gonna make this a funk brush oh it's super red i can already tell oh, it's so fucking red <laughs> but hey the sign's red hey it fucking works dude yeah yeah i would just set it to set them to like 80 instead of yeah 200 it's still get red but that's pretty good that's like kind of i wanted it to be bright Looks sick because now now it's look so cool it's like yeah now it's like you eat thing at the table you feel like you are braid runner yeah and also oh did you put another braid. light there like in the back uh, yeah oh, yeah i forgot to put a light source yeah okay well, that makes sense. i wonder what it looks like without that though back yeah it's like Yeah, check that out. I like it without the light. Yeah. There we go. That looks perfect. Yeah. Except for like the unfortunate sort of line, but whatever. Oh, uh, I feel like I'm in the car spotlights. It's like exactly at the right level. Yeah. Holy fuck. Yeah, there you go. Enable. There, now when you All reload... Right, either just reload or yeah, reset the game. It should be reload the map. It should work. Hopefully, it should work if you reload the map. There you go. Yeah, you gotta look at it from that way. There. Well, it didn't work. You gotta look nah, at it. Gotta do it. There oh. you go. It's perfect. It's perfect. You're really Reading sitting the ramen shop. at the ramen shop. Yeah. And, uh, guess what? Guess how long that took you? How long? Just barely over three hours. No way. Well, we haven't timed out Teams Viewer yet, so I guess that makes sense. Yeah, just barely over th three hours. It would have been... And that's including, like, your smoke break and shit. I like okay. the car at the end of the alleyway a lot, actually. Yeah, you can put, like, an engine noise on that thing. Good touch. Like an idol. We just had to stop by to get some fucking ramen down this garbage alley. Mm-hmm. Man, really should have bought some fucking real estate on the street. Well, what you should do is you should uh, put your player start facing away from the car, like as if you j just got out of the car, and that's your car that you're fucking. Oh yeah. Parked there, and you're not a bad idea. You're going to get the ramen. Oh. oh. Slid straight in on it. Like whoa, ramen! Yeah, it's the real rain. story is that you're you're just walking past the ramen to go to your true destination yeah. down the depths. That could be that could be the case.